For Russia, playing pipeline politics comes at a price. Ukraine's foreign minister adamant this week that the dispute between Naftogaz and Gazprom cannot be settled outside the Stockholm Arbitration Court. Ukraine's Naftogaz is currently in the process of retrieving almost $2.6 billion Gazprom owes it after a lengthy legal dispute came to an end in February. We have agreed with the European Commission on the principles of the application of the European energy rules in Ukraine. We must become part of a common European market. This will be the best guarantee for us and for the EU. The attempt by Russia to agree on an out-of-court settlement of cases in which the Stockholm Tribunal has already made a decision will not pass. It is necessary to follow generally accepted legal norms and international law. The EU believes that Russia and Ukraine can reach an agreement. The German economy minister Peter Altmaier left talks on laying the groundwork for a new gas transit contract on an optimistic note. Altmaier believes a deal between the two sides could also help foster a peace deal in eastern Ukraine. If it works out to come to an agreement, then this would be an important signal, which could also boost and support the Minsk peace process. More than 10,000 people have been killed in eastern Ukraine since Russia launched its undeclared war in spring 2014. This is why the future of any gas transit agreement between Russia and the EU via Ukraine is seen as an object of intricate diplomacy. But today's stocks mark a crucial first step. I want to make sure that uh, we start uh, off on the right foot and that we would continue uh, to building trust among ourselves because there was a lot of issues accumulating on this energy table over, over the years and we have to uh, take uh, on them one by one to arrive to, uh, at the uh, good solution. In 2018, Russia's Gazprom began working on the 11 billion US dollar Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which would directly link Russia with Germany via the Baltic Sea, bypassing Ukraine. A number of leaders have come out against the project, including top Canadian government representatives. When it comes to Nord Stream, uh, Canada has significant concerns about that project. Perhaps in one of the most controversial statements made by U.S. President Donald Trump to his European allies, the U.S. President called Germany, quote, a captive of Russia in supporting the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. But Germany is totally controlled by Russia because they were getting from 60 to 70 percent of their energy from Russia and a new pipeline. And you tell me if that's appropriate, because I think it's not. And I think it's a very bad thing for NATO. It's clear that Ukraine's transit role is imperiled by Russia's Nord Stream 2 pipeline project. It has the potential to cost Ukraine nearly 3 billion US dollars a year in lost Russian gas transit fees.